What happens when a human stops falling and actually begins to rise? When gravity stops winning and a man in a wingsuit suddenly climbs into the sky like a living bird? Today, we witness a moment that has shattered the limits of human flight, a moment that Red Bull called impossible until Peter Salzman made it real. This is not just a stunt. This is not just extreme sports. This is the birth of a new era where humans don't fall, they soar. Welcome to Positive Post TV, I'm your host Hamza Sabi, and today we dive into the most groundbreaking moment in wingsuit history, and it before we take off, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon, because here we bring you powerful stories that uplift, inspire, and electrify your imagination. On the volcanic cliffs of El Hierro in the Canary Islands, something extraordinary took place. The sky had a quiet tension, the winds were gentle, almost disappointingly soft for any high-risk experiment. But that was the secret. Austrian wingsuit pioneer Peter Salzman wasn't here to fall. He was here to rise. With a specially engineered foil wing strapped to his wingsuit, built using the same advanced simulations used to design Formula One cars, Peter stepped off the cliff, not to plummet, but to challenge the very laws of physics. The moment he leaped, the world held its breath. Instead of dropping through the air, Peter connected with the rising currents along a razor-sharp ridge. And then, the impossible. His altitude meter began to climb. First a few meters. Then dozens. Then a staggering 67 meters of vertical gain, the height of a 22-story building. No engines. No propellers. Just raw aerodynamics, perfect timing, and superhuman skill. To understand how sensational this achievement truly is, we must compare it with traditional wingsuit flying. Normally, wingsuit flights are nothing more than controlled falling. Even the best pilots lose huge amounts of altitude while gliding. To gain altitude without mechanical assistance was considered nearly impossible. The only previous attempts required hurricane-level winds, upwards of 120 km per hour. But Peter did it in 40 km per hour, the kind of calm wind where even paragliders can drift casually beside you. The brilliance lies in the foil wing, lightweight yet powerful enough to generate lift without transforming the pilot into a paraglider. This hybrid design demanded Salzman fly at the edge of a stall, where the wing produces maximum lift but is seconds away from losing stability. One small miscalculation, one fraction of a degree off, and the entire flight could have become deadly. But Peter mastered this unstable zone with almost surgical precision. He made multiple 180-degree ridge turns, losing less than 200 meters of altitude over a full 160-second flight, a performance 10 times more efficient than any ordinary wingsuit flight. Yes, he admits his turns still need refinement. Yes, he says he lost altitude where he could have saved it. But the breakthrough is unmistakable, if he can re-enter the rising air consistently, theoretically he can stay in the sky indefinitely. That is not just a stunt, that is a scientific revolution. Red Bull's aerodynamics team didn't just build a wing, they recreated the physics of real mountain winds using CFD simulations identical to those used to sculpt F1 cars. Every curve, every edge of the foil wing was calculated to create lift at altitudes where wingsuits normally have no chance. El Hierro itself was the perfect stage. A long mountain ridge parallel to the incoming wind created a natural conveyor belt of rising air, an invisible ramp to the heavens. And Peter rode it like he had been doing it his whole life. This is not simply sports engineering. This is aerospace evolution. Peter Salzman has shifted wingsuit flying from a desperate struggle against gravity to a dance with the wind, where humans don't fall, but choose their direction. He has shown the world that flight isn't just a dream, it's a skill. 40 seconds into the soaring flight, Peter crossed the same reference point he had passed moments earlier. But this time, he was higher. His team shouted in disbelief. The cameras captured something historic, a human gaining altitude like a bird using nothing but air, skill, and a piece of engineered art strapped to his back. 
Peter described the sensation as crazy. Scientists called it game-changing. Red Bull called it a world first. And the world? The world simply watched in awe. Peter Salzman didn't just fly, he transformed human flight forever. His soaring wingsuit breakthrough proves something powerful, the limits we believe in are often nothing more than illusions waiting to be broken. And here at Positive Post TV, we celebrate the dreamers who dare to challenge the impossible. If this story inspired you, even for a moment. Thanks for watching. Bye.